I've been homeless for a while now, since I've been like 14. Going through several foster homes, you know, DCFS, but some abuse, you know, some sexual, some mental. You lose faith and you lose hope. And sometimes we go down the wrong path and we never get to see the light. Kirsten is the one that drew me to the project. Um, we had been searching for a long time for what our next film would be. Um, and uh, Kirsten is also a marvelous theater director, and she had been working with a group of high school students. She had a, um, she'd been working with them for a number of weeks and discovered that two of the young people that she thought she knew very well, um, she discovered that they were homeless and that they had been hiding this fact. And she came to me, and we started talking to teachers and administrators and started to understand the scope of the problem. And it was really the, the fact that the young people that she was working with didn't look anything like any depiction of homelessness that either one of us was aware of. It was because of the way that I am that my mother, you know, like, got rid of me because, you know, I'm a lesbian. Immigration. They were looking for my dad. He had to settle down by himself somewhere else. I think that you know, one of the things right now that makes documentary so, such an exciting field to be in, and it's funny because I was just having a conversation with someone about this the other day, is that we really don't trust our news media anymore, just as a rule. There's so much news media, there's a lot of, there's a lot of agendas out there. And I think that when you get into narr to real story with people, and especially long form story where you spend time you really have an opportunity to be part of the dialogue in a way that's really exciting. We're just really excited to be, be here. here in the nation's capital with this social justice film. Yeah. <laughs> and cool. I think yeah, It's very cool. <laughs> and I think in the prep, I can say that what was different for, for me was just the amount of commitment that AFI Docs had to putting together these really powerful panels, to really engaging with the issue, and to trying to engage the political community as well. So it's kind of you feel like that they care you care about the film, but you also really care about the issue that that we're working with, and the synergy there was really nice. It's like a tremendous, unique opportunity that AFI Docs has, and they're really taking advantage of that and bringing filmmakers together with advocates and people who know about the issue, people who don't know about the issue, and and that's exciting. Yeah.